What is the biggest question in crypto? Maybe in markets in general, when do I sell? Yes, that's the question I get asked most often. I'm your host, Bill Noble. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, hit the like button. Don't forget to check out Lux Algo affiliate link down below. Now, on the subject of Lux Algo, that is the way I answer the question, when do I sell? Lux Algo has something called the premium equilibrium and discount zones. It's a proprietary calculation based on the recent ranges that give you a good clue as to, frankly, tops and bottoms or when it's time to rotate out of, say, one coin or one macro asset and into another. So let's, let's share the screen, get going on PowerPoint so we can check out some examples that are topical right now, October 13th. When do you sell? This is not investment advice. Okay, TLT is an ETF in the TradFi markets. Uh, it's the bond market, essentially, the long bond. Now, here you're going to see two Lux Algo indicators working together. The first one is an Elliott Wave indicator. Elliott Wave measures trends. Trends have five waves. Okay, one, three, and five waves are in the direction of the trend. The two and the four wave are corrective. So here in TLT, we see one up, two down, three up, four down, five up to complete the trend into this red area, which is the Lux Algo premium zone, implying that, you know, bonds are either stretched out or quote unquote expensive relative to where they've been trading. And as you can see, there was a strong incentive to pay attention to this because, you know, maybe inflation got a little hot and maybe Uncle Sugar borrowed a little bit too much money and bonds declined sharply back to the equilibrium zone, which is like a balance area. So when something gets stretched out to premium, it could come back to equilibrium very easily, particularly if you have a confluence, meaning you have other indicators warning, hey, you know, maybe it's time to take a little off the table or get out altogether. Now, in S&P or SPX, you have a similar five-wave structure. It's right inside in the middle of the Lux Algo premium zone. Uh, it's at a take profit target from, you know, an indicator where it gives you like momentum buy and sell signals. So, you know, there are multiple signals in S&P saying, let's, let's take our money. Now that can come from two things. One, it can come from something geopolitical, right? Or two, S&P can fall into a range because it's time for Bitcoin, right? In other words, stocks have gone up, 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 and up. No doubt because the Fed's putting high-powered money into the system, given the big event we've got coming up in mid-fall. But what is the most vulnerable market to any type of problem overseas that could affect oil? S&P. So perhaps it's time to head for the door or rotate money over into Bitcoin. Now, let's go from macro and all that TradFi nerd stuff over to... Popcat meme coins. So as you can see, Popcat has been a really, really strong performer on the way up, outperforming everything, making new all time highs with this one, two, three, four, five structure, right? So it completes a couple of different Elliott wave, you know, trends, small one and a big one. And it is pressing the Lux Algo premium zone. It actually pulled up just short is usually an indicator that it might test it or perhaps try to pop out the top at $1.60. Now, seeing this and seeing this level of outperformance, there's obviously a reason why, but nothing outperforms forever. So maybe it's time to take the money in PopCat and rotate into either another meme or just simply wait to see if there's a range or a dip, right? In other words, if PopCat explodes to a new high, there will be another crypto somewhere that's doing as well or better. So 
Can it hurt to take money off the table here? I don't think so, based on this indicator. Now, if we look at something, you know, more finance related, ohm, we see the same thing, the five wave structure up, right? Uh, right into a Lux Algo premium zone and a take profit area. Okay, just as an aside, note down here that there were multiple Lux Algo buy signals as Ohm pretty much bored everyone to tears by sitting on top of the discount zone. So it sat on top of the discount zone and then it rallied and here we are at the premium zone and it's either time for a range because the market moves to other real world asset coins, the market moves to Bitcoin or there's some sort of like flash dip lower, right? I mean, either way, if you made money in this, perhaps it's time to take it and rotate to something else because nothing outperforms forever. Now, something that's a little more tricky, this is Tau. This is the AI, like one of the AI super coins in crypto. Now, as you can see, there's the five wave structure, but Tau has not reached the premium zone Tau has reached the equilibrium zone at around $700. The premium zone is all the way up to $1,200. Now, in this case, you have topping signals. There could be a pause. But in this case, you know, as in all the others, you're asking yourself, well, what happens if this thing blows through the balance zone? Because that, that has happened in multiple cases, right? Now, if you have reasons to top and reasons to pause and those signals do not create a top or a pause then in this case you know you can really go with it if it turns higher now here not investment advice i'm not a fast seller because it's not at the premium zone could it range could it correct could you get a dip sure but if it if you don't get the dip i also wouldn't hesitate going with it because again you're not in any type of lux algo premium zone now the big one everyone is talking about sui right very similar to solana last year sui got to two dollars and 32 cents which was like a major take profit level and it's the lux algo premium zone now if sui you know really takes out say 245 and it becomes the first crypto to go beyond the premium zone then we have a fundamental shift in all of crypto in my opinion in other words is popcat gonna create sort of a new paradigm in crypto if it goes through the premium zone huh probably not it just means cat coins are going to continue to outperform now with Sui, right, it can pay to take money off the table or it can pay to just wait to add, which is probably where people's heads are at, right? Like, I don't think everyone's like, oh my God, I got to get out of this. I don't think that's the way to look at the premium zone. I think in this case, the premium zone means if I wanted to buy, I might wait. And if it breaks out, well, great. That's just confirmation and I can just go with that because Sui's headed to $6. A little footnote. Sometimes if there's a geopolitical event or people are afraid of one, you can get a pause or just simply a range. Sometimes markets that are going up and up and up, rather than give people the dip that they actually want, coins can fall into just a sideways range. And that's exactly what can happen to Sui. The premium zone can act as a cap and it could just go sideways. Perhaps, perhaps for a month while the rest of the market catches up. I mean, it's, it's logical, right? It's never logical to buy it in the discount zone, which was down here at, you know, 40 cents in early August. So on the Black Monday crash, Sui was at 40 cents. And of course, buying it made no sense, right? Now at $2.32, the FOMO is so intense, no one wants to get out. But that's exactly when you should at least think about your position, right? There is no automated, oh, okay, let's push the button and sell. I mean, if you bought it at 50 cents and you want to sell at $2 to pay some bills, I don't have a problem with that. But 
you know, there's never a reason to sell when you get up here, which sometimes, sometimes is why you should. Now, Arrow, a base coin, this enormous give up trade, which forms this, you know, sort of cup formation. Lux Algo is actually FOMOing into a new round of strength as of October 12th. So <clears throat> even though Arrow is at the premium zone, we all know, or at least anyone who follows Arrow and these base coins, that Arrow can have dramatic market cap expansion. Now, again, a lot of FOMO. Arrow was up on like a Sunday night when the rest of the market was down. And like Sui, if this becomes the first coin to lead the market by blowing through a premium zone, then you know you have a paradigm shift in crypto. That the, you know, any potential capital markets friendly outcome at the event next month is on. However, this video is more about like, when do you sell? You take the money at the premium zone, you look to buy it back, or if you missed it, you just simply wait. Right, because there's a flip side, right? Like the people who own it are like, when do I sell? And the people who don't own it are like, oh man, I missed it. When do I get in? Well, if you don't have it and it's at the premium zone, you can wait. If you have it and you've made just absurd truckloads of money, then you can take some of it. You can look to buy it on a dip or you can rotate it into another coin. I mean, this is the game in crypto, right? You make money in select altcoins, you leave a moon bag, and then you try to rotate the money somewhere where there hasn't been a rally. That's a possible strategy with something like Arrow. Now let's get the big boy Bitcoin. Micro strategy. Oh my goodness. They, that stock has broken out and is now at its Luxalgo premium zone after trading in a range since April. This is Michael Saylor's company. So to be very simple, if, you know, micro strategy keeps going and blows through 225, probably taking S&P with it, you have a paradigm shift. You have a market going, you know what? The old range is no longer relevant. We're going to discover something else. However, when I look at this, I go, well, you know, you had a lot of FOMO into the premium zone. You know, the, the FOMO here, right, in October looks like the mirror opposite of the despair back in August, right? And if anything, this says to me that maybe instead of doing micro strategy, it could be time to just rotate into Bitcoin. Just simple as that. And that, that could be true for a lot of the altcoins. That the altcoins have had some sort of resistance or even the Bitcoin, what you call derivatives, the things that track Bitcoin, like, you know, a stock is not a derivative, but things that track Bitcoin are doing better than Bitcoin. Bitcoin's premium zone is not up until like 71K or 72K. Bitcoin right now is at 62 and everyone's kind of asleep. So could Bitcoin wake up? Could Bitcoin do better than stocks? Could the altcoin move take a break and that move into Bitcoin for like a week or so or a month? The answer is yes. And with altcoins, you want to be moving from altcoins that, you know, can't get through their premium zone into ones that may be far away from their premium zone. And if you want into like Arrow and Tau and those type of coins, you may be able to get yourself a range where you can accumulate.